Hi friends, welcome to Ufa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 4 in Azure Synapse Analytics Real-Time Scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can read files from multiple path. So that means, let's assume I have files in different folders. Then from that different folders or from that multiple paths, I should be able to read the files. And maybe let's assume I don't want to read the full files. Maybe I want to read only few files. That means subset of the files. Then how to do that? This is what we are going to discuss about in this video. So let so before watching this video, I would strongly encourage you guys to watch part 26th video in Azure Synapse Analytics playlist. Why? Because there I have explained how to use the open row set function in the Synapse SQL. This open row set function will help you to read the data from the files. And also please watch the part third video in the Synapse Real-Time Scenarios playlist because there I have explained using this row set open row set function how to read all the files from the folder. So let's go to demo and let me try to explain. So let me go to my desktop. I have a folder called sample data on my desktop. So here if you see I have four employees folders like employee 1, employee 2, employee 3, employee 4. All these four files have few employees information. So let me quickly show you that in the employee 1 file I have employee IDs 1, 2, 3. Okay. And then in the employee ID 2 file, I have employees from 3 to 4, I mean 3 to 6, I mean sorry, 4 to 6, if you see here, 4 to 6. And then in the employee 3 file, I have uh, employee IDs, I think 7 and 8, right, you can see here. And then in the employee 4 file, I have employee IDs 9 and 10. So let me wait for the, see here, employee ID 9 and 10. So totally we have 10 employees which are placed in all these four employees files. The same four employees files I have placed on my Synapse workspace data lake storage which is linked with it. Let me show you that practically. So let me open this Synapse workspace and inside the Synapse workspace I will show you the storage where I have these files as well. So let me click this open link here to open my Synapse workspace here. Okay. So this is my Synapse workspace and here let me navigate to data menu. Under data menu, under linked tab, we can actually see our data lake storage also, right? You know this. If you have seen my Azure Synapse Analytics playlist, by this time you know this. If you haven't seen my Azure Synapse playlist, then please watch it. So here, let me expand this uh, storage which I connected with this Synapse workspace. So this is a container name, sample container. So inside this sample container, I have two folders. One folder is data folder. Inside this data folder, I placed this employee 3 fold and employee 4 file. Okay. So remember this. So employee 3 and 4 files are in the data folder and if I go back to container and there is a different location called EMP folder and inside this folder I have employee 1 and employee 2. So that means I have data in all the 4 files. All the 4 files are placed in different locations. So if the data is placed like this in a multiple folders then how we can use Synapse SQL to read that data. So this is what I am going to explain in this video. So let me go to this development menu. And here, let me try to create a new SQL script. And as I said in my previous videos, you have to use a open row set function to read data from files, right? So let me do one thing, select. So let me write a SQL query here, select star, then from, then usually here we will be using a table name, right? Instead of table name here, you need to use this open row set function. And in the open row set function, we have to use this bulk keyword to the bulk keyword we have to supply the path if it is only one path then here we will be giving the path of the file like this actually but if i have a multiple locations that means multiple paths how to do that so for that what you need to do this you need to use this bulk function here like this and you need to pass your values with a comma separated so if i go back to my presentation so let me go back to my presentation here uh, i have already opened my presentation here right so if I go back to presentation if you, and if you clearly see here, this is how we have to use these multiple locations. So under this bulk function, we are using both the locations with a comma separated values, right? The same way we have to use it. So let me go back to my Synapse workspace and here let me take the path for each location. This is employee folder, right? So let me go here more and go to the properties and let me take the path of this folder. Let me hit cancel and go back here. So here in a single course, I should use a path 
and I want to take all the CSV files from this employee folder. So I will be using a star.csv that means all the CSV files under this folder. Then comma. Then what is the second path? If I go back to my container again and if I go back to sample container here, there is a folder called data. Under data folder, I want to take this employee 3, employee 4. I don't want to take these other files. So how to do that? So for that, let me paste this path once again. And here, let me remove all this. So under container data folder, under the data folder, whatever the file which starts with EMP, then it may contain any number or whatever it is after EMP. So I will be using a star there to denote that, then dot CSV. So if I use that inside a data folder, all the files which will start with EMP and ends with the dot CSV, all those files will be considered to read. So once you use this bulk option, then you have to mention a format as well. So our files format is CSV. And then we have to, if it is a CSV file, we have to use this parser version also. So you know this if you have seen my part 26th video. Then here we can also define header row. That means the first row in my file is header or not. If yes, then use this property header row. Now if I execute this query, it is going to give me all the 10, 10 employees information in a uh, 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 from all the four files. So here what it is complaining is we have to use some name here for this open row set data. So I will be using like employees. Now let me hit this run button to execute this query and let's wait for the query to uh, show the results here. Great. See, we got our data back and we got all the 10, 10 employees. You can see employee 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then you can see 7, 8, 9 and 10. If you want to order, then you can order by also. So let me use this order by, order by ID column. Okay. So now let me hit this run button once again to see the results of the data from all the four files. See here. So this way you can use this kind of syntax to read data from multiple file locations. And if you want to use in any specific location only subset of the files, then you can use this kind of syntax where you will be defining or you will be defining a logic where like uh, a file name is starting with something or ending with something, right? Contains something. So you can use these file cards basically. Okay. So let me go back to presentation. That's it in this video. I hope you got an idea how to read the files which are placed in a multiple locations using this Synapse SQL. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.